What did you think when you first heard the pitch for hit and miss? Because it is such an unusual concept. I loved it. I was very intrigued and very um, interested in it immediately when I got the script. I got the first three episodes and I thought this is something that I really want. Um, and I really worked hard at it and I knew how I wanted to approach the audition piece. It was the, it was the, it was the scene where she reveals that she is a transsexual pre-op and I went in there and I worked well with Hetty and uh, Juliet, the producer and director, and um, felt I did a good, strong audition. And, you know, um, thankfully they did as well. So, yeah, Im immediately, just because it was just, it's just such an, a, an original piece, you know, such an original piece, and you don't really see, th well, you, you just, <laughs> you, you don't see things like this on the television. Mm. So. Me as a transsexual, but initially at least Ben doesn't know that. Ben so. doesn't have a buddy clue. <laughs> so is it difficult as an actor kind of putting that out of your mind when you're filming? No, not when you're filming it because, you know, me, um, Chloe is a very attractive lady anyway, so it's not as though she looks like a fella. Mm. So, you know, I, I, that didn't even enter into my mind. You just think, well, this is a woman. Until, until the scene where she actually reveals to him then you don't have to even think about that because you just, you just, you just play it as, 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 as you would do with, with any normal actress, any normal woman. But then when he does know that she is a man, then that's when you know, the cogs have to start turning and he gets confused about his sexuality. He isn't, he isn't, he isn't sure if, he, if, if this means that he's gay. Does he have to go out and assert his sexuality and his, his sort of masculinity? He goes on a bit of a rampage, he gets pissed off, he bites people. Shags loads of women just to show that I mean, you're a proper, proper bloke. Do you know what I mean? But deep down, he's um, he's falling in love with the dick, basically. <laughs> and there's a few sort of racy scenes in Hit and Miss as well. So I mean, how do you find it dealing with you know, sex scenes and nudity and all that sort of thing? They're always very. When you read the script, when you know that you've got the part, you go, "Shit, okay, well, how am I going to do this?" But they did bless us with the fact that they they did those scenes on the very last day. So we've, we've, we've known each other for months, mm. and if they'd done it in the first week, it would have been terrifying, you know. But um, we knew each other well by then. It was on the last day, it was the last two scenes that we shot where there's, you know, a bit of penetr uh, penetration, whatever. And uh, everybody was upbeat, it was the last night, we were going to the rap party, and we just thought, fuck it, let's just get it done. Obviously, we were both nervous. I sent her a text because we'd gone through it, we'd rehearsed it bit by bit, stage by stage the night before. And you know, I said I was a bit nervous. She said, "Don't worry about it. We'll help each other through it. We'll, you know, it'll be absolutely fine. Do not worry." The first take, you're a bit nervy, of course, and it's it's a completely alien sort of situation that you're in. There's people all around you, but then after the first take, you just go, "Right, come on, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Let's just get it done. Get it done. Get it done." And then you just actually have you have a laugh with it. Do you know what I mean? So it was it was it was it was fine. It's always worse on the page than it is when you do it. And you first came to a lot of people's attention as Robin Hood, but yeah. you've since taken on all these great roles. I mean, do you feel like you've left that role behind now? Yeah, I mean, um, Robin Hood was a fantastic period of my life. Um, I played the, the, the part for three years, but I mean, I think once you play an iconic part like that for, for a number of years, I think it's the right thing to try and distance yourself away from, from that, which is a you know, conscious decision that I made in, in, in the parts that I chose. And um, I love it when people say, I remember you in Robin Hood. I'll never deny that. I, I think it's a fantastic thing. And I'm very, 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 very proud of the fact that I played that part. But, you know, it is always good to stay away from the last piece that you did, especially if it's such a, a well-known, iconic, you know, figure such as that.